Hi there, I'm Penny Johnson, the coordinator and one of the faculty advisors for the Liberal Arts Transfer Education Program. This program is for students who want to pursue a career in K-12. So where should you start when you're ready to choose classes? Well, the first thing you want to do is to go to our program webpage, which is here on the screen. You can search for Liberal Arts Transfer Education. Once here, click on the Curriculum tab. That's where you'll find the list of all the requirements for completing the program. There's a lot of information, so let's take a look at how to make sense of it. The first thing you want to do is you want to look for the headings that are in bold. These are the categories that you need to fulfill. For example, our first category is English and Speech. It requires nine credits, so three three-credit courses. We recommend that students generally take English 1, English 2, and Speech. But as you can see, there are other courses to choose from, so how do you decide? Well, first of all, you want to think about the transfer institution that you're going to go to after Madison College. Are you going to go to Edgewood College or maybe UW-Madison? So you want to think about how does our course requirement fulfill their degree requirements for their bachelor's degree? Okay, the second thing you want to think about is the career you want to pursue. Do you want to be an elementary education teacher? Do you want to be a guidance counselor? Or maybe you want to be a middle school principal. Think about the career that you want to have so that you can pick the course that'll teach you the skills to succeed at that career. Okay, so let's keep going down the list. The second category is called Health, Wellness, and Physical Education. You're only required to take one credit there. And look at there's tons of classes to choose from. So another thing you want to think about is you want to think about picking a course that is of interest to you and that seems fun to you. That'll make the course easier to complete and enjoyable. Um, you also want to think about how the course is offered. So when you click on any course name, it'll take you, so for example, I'm going to go down to children's literature. It's under the category humanities and fine, fine art. So I'm going to click on children's literature. Let's see, it's here somewhere. There it is. And I'm going to take a look how this class is offered. I'm going to scroll down and click on view sections. So this class is only offered at the Truex campus on Mondays and Wednesdays in the fall semester. So if that fits my if that fits my schedule, perfect. This is an excellent course to fulfill the literature requirement for elementary ed majors. But if it conflicts with a different course, then I'd have to wait and see. Or perhaps the course might be offered online. Maybe that's something I like and I want to choose online courses. Or maybe I know that um, online isn't for me and I want to take something on campus. So think about that as well. I'm going to continue down the list. Our next category is called Math and Natural Sciences. One final thing that you want to think about when you're selecting your courses is how does it fulfill your future education major? So for example, we have requirements here. You have to select a math class and a biology class and a physical sciences class. Well, if let's say you're going to be an elementary education major at the UW-Madison, you should really think about taking math for elementary teachers. This fulfills a requirement at UW-Madison for the School of Ed. So it's a perfect fit. You're filling two boxes with one course. So you want to think about that as well. When you're ready to start enrolling in classes, all of this information can be a little overwhelming. So we do recommend that you meet with your academic advisor at the college and your faculty advisor. Your academic advisor is someone who can handle all of those college-y kinds of questions, like how did your high school credits transfer in, or financial aid questions, or things like that. So what you can do is from the college's homepage is search for academic advising and look for the link to academic services. Here's where you'll find information about scheduling a meeting. They meet online, on the phone, all sorts of ways. In addition, as I mentioned, you want to meet with your faculty advisor, somebody like me. So we're back at the Liberal Arts Transfer Education webpage. I'm going to click on Overview. Here, kind of in, a mi in the middle, is a link to the Education SharePoint site. At that SharePoint site, you'll find tons of information about our program, 
resources, upcoming events, scholarship opportunities, and at the very bottom is where you'll find the links to all of the faculty advisors, and you can click on any link to schedule a meeting or um, ask questions. In the meantime, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me, Penny Johnson, at any time. I'm happy to help, and I'm glad to have you, so welcome aboard.